What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima High Device Vids, and I've got some great news for jailbreakers. The iOS 9 jailbreak has already been achieved, and iOS 9 isn't even out yet, it's just crazy. It's currently in the gold master stage, and it's going to be coming out to the public on September 16th. But anyways, I Hate Snow, who's a very popular hacker in the jailbreak community, uploaded a video this morning of an iPhone 5 jailbroken on iOS 9. So today I just wanted to talk to you guys about what this means and what you could expect from the future. So let's get right into it. All right, so I wanna start off by saying in the description down below, there will be a link to the YouTube video. So basically here it is. Basically what he does in this video is he shows his device with a boot logo, a verbose boot, and of course he proves these on iOS 9 and shows Cydia. So if I just play it real quick, of course it starts off with the boot logo. Uh, he has the I hate snow boot logo, as you can see right there. Custom, of course, and obviously none of this is possible without a jailbreak, you know, the whole verbose boot and boot logo thing that all requires a jailbreak. And if we just skip a little bit forward here, once the device actually boots up, I'll show you that, uh, as you can see here, it goes into settings, shows that he is on iOS 9, and then he opens up Cydia, you know, proves that he is jailbroken. So as you can see right there on his iOS 9 home screen, there's Cydia. And of course, if you guys want to watch this whole video, again, it will, there will be a link in the description down below to this video. He also shows a theme running on it eventually. This is all just to prove that his device is jailbroken once again. And for those of you guys wondering if you're ever going to see this released or when you can expect this to be released, I'd probably say you're unfortunately not going to be seeing this released to the public ever. And the reason I would say that is because I Hate Snow has gone on record in the past on Twitter and said that he's no longer interested in releasing jailbreaks to the public because obviously it takes a lot of work to do that. You have to get everything ready and everything. You know, have to test on test it on every device and there's complications, etc. And of course, that's completely understandable. It's a lot of work. And also, I wanted to mention that if you go into the description of his video, he does note in here that for ARM64 devices on iOS 9, and basically that's the newer devices, so the iPhone 5S and above, that there is something called kernel patch protection. Basically what this does is it makes jailbreaking a whole lot more difficult. So this jailbreak would not work in its current state in this video with anything higher than the iPhone 5S, which is really too bad. So again, that's yet another reason why I would say that you're probably not gonna see this release. Just again, another reason why. But again, I could be wrong. And of course, if he wants to release this jailbreak, he could possibly find a way to make it work with newer devices. But in my opinion, you know, you're know, you probably gonna be seeing the iOS 9 jailbreak from the Pangu team, the Taiji team, or the Keen team, because those are jailbreak groups that have actually you know, said that they are interested in working in an iOS 9 jailbreak and releasing it to the public. So you may ask then, what could we even get out of this video that he uploaded? And well, what you can get is it's just good to know that iOS 9 is jailbreakable, that there's still exploits out there that, you know, do work that jailbreak iOS 9. It's just really good to know and it makes us, you know, enthusiastic about the future that someone else could find a jailbreak and release it. And he also just wanted to quickly mention that there are some people in the jailbreak community that when somebody releases one of these videos, basically just proving that they have a jailbreak, these people get mad at the person and they basically think that that person is obligated to release the jailbreak because they demoed it in a video and that's completely not true this is i hate snow's jailbreak he could do whatever he wants with it it's his choice this is just a proof of concept video and again it's just good to know that it's possible to jailbreak ios 9 he's not obligated to do anything with it it's his own discovery it's his own jailbreak so again he could do whatever he wants with it. And that wraps up all the news for I Hate Snow's video. Congratulations to him for achieving this jailbreak. And again, maybe he'll release it. You know, maybe he won't. I would probably say he probably won't release it. But again, I could be completely wrong. I have been wrong in the past. So next, I just wanted to quickly talk to you guys about Pengu's latest tweet. So they tweeted out that they published three kernel vulnerabilities on iOS 8.4.1. One of them is the perfect vulnerability for a jailbreak. And they posted a link to their blog when they go over all the technical details. So basically, I was curious when I first saw this why they would do this because obviously if they had vulnerabilities for 8.4.1, I would think that they should probably save them for iOS 9. And the reason they did this was because Apple had already fixed two of the vulnerabilities that they discovered in iOS 9, so they're already fixed. So there's really no reason in keeping them a secret because releasing an iOS 8.4.1 jailbreak right now would be pointless because iOS 9 is coming out in you know very, very soon, just next week on the 16th. So they did discover three vulnerabilities in total, and again, two of them were patched in iOS 9 already. And for the remaining one, I'm really not sure. I mean, 
I'm assuming that it was just something so small that it doesn't even matter if they revealed it. So they just went ahead and revealed it anyways. But I could be completely wrong and they could have revealed it for another reason. But anyways, what you could get out of this is that, you know, that's great. There's more vulnerabilities discovered. Again, whenever any of these, you know, things pop up, whether it be a video, proof of concept, jailbreak video, like we just saw from I Hate Snow, or, you know, announcement of vulnerabilities from a jailbreak team, it's just always good to see new vulnerabilities being discovered. Even if we never see I Hate Snow's exploits or Pangu's exploits for 8.4.1 in a jailbreak, it's just good to know that exploits are continuously being discovered because, of course, that hints at future exploits being discovered and, you know, more jailbreaks, more fun. And it just about wraps up this video. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave me a comment down below in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Also, make sure to give this video a like if it helps you out. Subscribe to this channel as well. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like its Facebook page, and add it to one of your circles in Google+. And also, make sure to follow my personal Twitter account. All this will be linked in the description down below. And again, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.